What you see on the screen is a reactive silencer. It is used in several industrial applications. Two characteristics that are unique to such a silencer. One is it muffles sound in lower frequencies. The other is that it does not have any sound absorption materials which are usually effective in attenuating high sound frequency. Usually a reactive muffler has several structural baffles, perforated pipes, etc. In part one of this video, we shall discuss how we can analyze a simple expansion chamber type reactive muffler and how engineers look for one important result called sound transmission losses, which is a direct measure how much sound is attenuated. What we see on the screen is a simple exhaust system, commonly referred to as expansion chamber. There are three components an inlet pipe that connects to a sound source such as an engine, an expansion chamber, in this case a rectangular box, and an exhaust tailpipe. All these bodies are assigned as acoustics domains. The mesh is conformal due to shared topology in space claim. A fine mesh is used to capture the wavelength at the highest frequency of interest, usually chosen to be between lambda by 5 to lambda by 10. The inlet and the outlet surface are assigned a radiation boundary condition. What this implies is there is no sound reflection at these ends. Two acoustic ports are defined. One is the input port scoped to the inlet surface and the other is an output port scoped to the outlet surface. Finally, an input velocity is applied to the inlet port of unit magnitude. Apart solve one important result that is often examined when you evaluate exhaust systems, sound transmission losses. Higher the sound transmission loss at a particular frequency, greater is the attenuation in dB. From the sound transmission losses curve, it's clear that the transmission losses are highest around 100 and 300 hertz, whereas it's lowest around 200 and 400 hertz. What this implies is that this muffler is effective at around 100 and 300 hertz, whereas it's least effective in attenuating the sound if the frequencies are either around 200 or 400 hertz. Here are some notes to show sound transmission losses is essentially the sound dB difference between the inlet and the outlet. Sound transmission loss can be computed as the difference between input sound power obtained at inlet port A and the output sound power at the outlet port B. Since sound power is usually small, it's expressed in a log or a dB scale. One can simplify this sound power in terms of sound pressure, area, the impedance of the sound, which is a product of the density and the speed of sound. When simplified further, it turns out to be the difference in sound pressure levels between inlet A and outlet B. Higher the sound transmission losses of an exhaust system at a particular frequency, greater is the noise attenuation at that particular frequency.